more, let's bring in Texas Congressman Tony Gonzalez. Congressman, great to see you. Let's uh, stay on Corinne Jean-Pierre really quickly. She was talking about the parole programs from Venezuela, Nicaragua, and Cuba. It did dip briefly, but China immigration shot up illegal over 800 percent and illegal crossings, including Venezuelans, are now back at peak highs. Regardless of what comes out of her mouth, illegal immigration, peak highs, and will only worsen in the coming days. Now, uh, Dagan, thank you for having me. And you're exactly right. You know, if by if by her saying down by 90 percent, they meant up by 90 percent, I would agree with them because the numbers are, are through the roof. And we've seen this before. We're living the hell along the border. You know, Griff was in down in, in Brownsville. I'll be in El Paso tomorrow. This is an 11 hours away. It is the exact same thing is happening. Uh, it, what is happening in El Paso is happening in, in Brownsville. And it's unsustainable. When I met with, with the Mexican president, President Lopez Obrador about a month ago, I asked him specifically about the Chinese uh, influx. And I said, look, you have folks from China and the Middle East that are taking one-way plane tickets from China to Mexico City. They're not here to visit your temples. They're here to come over illegally. Will you please curb that and stop giving these tourist visas when you know darn well they're not doing that? He, he punted on the issue. But this is, these are some of the things that the Biden administration needs to do to curb this illegal immigration. So, Congressman, with the expiration of Title 42 and 1,500 troops going to the border, is this about preventing illegals from coming across the border, or are these 1,500 troops going to be there to process illegals to bring them into the United States? Yeah, Sean, I, I'm torn on, on, on my reaction on this. One, I spent 20 years in the military, five years in Iraq and Afghanistan. And, and what it, the, the positive is, it highlights that the Biden administration is waving the white flag. And they're, they're agreeing that the border is no longer safe and humane and orderly process. They're, they're calling in the cavalry. They're calling in the troops. What I'm, what I'm against is what are these 1,500 troops going to be doing? And, and, and look, the military is built for one thing. It's trained to fight and win wars. If we have people along the border just helping with this border crisis, that's what the Border Patrol, that's their job, is to stop this illegal immigration from occurring. If all we're doing is letting more people in, it's the wrong approach. What I believe needs to happen is we need to have judges at the border, and their case, uh, these, these folks get their cases heard in days, not years. And if you do not qualify for asylum, you don't get sent to D.C. or L.A. or Martha's Vineyard, as fun as that was, you get sent back to your country of origin. And and if you do qualify for asylum, then welcome to the United States. This is what needs to occur. And Greg Abbott, the governor, pointed out that 10,000 Texas National Guard have already been deployed trying to fill the gap created by Biden's reckless open border policies. Quick, I want to get, we want to get your reaction to this. New York City Mayor, Congressman the Eric Adams, our mayor here, accusing Governor Greg Abbott of targeting black mayors by busing migrants from the border to major cities. Listen to this. Governor Abbott sent uh, asylum seekers to New York, black mayor, to Washington, black mayor, to Houston, black mayor, uh, to Los Angeles, black mayor, uh, to Denver, black mayor. He passed over thousands of cities to land here. No one should use human beings as political pawns. And I cannot ignore the fact that Governor Abbott sent migrants only to cities where they're black mayors and is undermining our cities. Congressman? Doc, I don't view the world through a color. I don't view a world through different ethnicity. 20 years in the military, I fought with people in all, all different race, religion, creeds, and it's, it's, it's almost in shock. What, what I do agree, partly, is instead of busing people all over the United States, let them have their day in court and bust them back to wherever they came from. At the same breath, I think Congress needs to work with the administration and work on work visas. There needs to be a legal route where people can come over. I'm not talking about voting or access to, to some of our social services, but we do have work, va work uh, vacancies. Let's have them come through vetted, come through and work there. Right now, nine out of 10 people do do not qualify for asylum. So the Biden administration needs to quit funneling them down the asylum route. Congressman, thank you so much. Congressman Gonzalez of Texas. Thanks, Congressman. Thanks for having me.